So you just got your new Yaskawa drive and you're excited to commission it. In this video, we'll share a brief overview of how to use Yaskawa's Drive Wizard Industrial Configuration software to make that process fun and easy. We'll focus on the application wizard to show how quickly you can configure a drive on your PC. So you need to start with a project and a username. From there, select your drive series, software, specific model, control method, and region. There are options for how you want to connect to the drive to the Drive Wizard Industrial, but for today, we're going to work offline. Once the files are built offline, they can be transferred to the drive when you're ready to commission. So we'll just select the GA500, the new micro series drive from Yaskawa. The model, we can pick anything. We'll just go with this GA504018. We'll do an open loop vector control. And again, if you wanted to test your communication, you could do that right here, but we're just going to work offline. From this screen, you can make multiple selections, and most are available when you're online with the drive. For pre-configuration, we're going to select the drive application wizard. The basic drive setup is available and is great for general purpose applications like conveyors, pumps, fans. So let's click forward and see how this works. You will have to select an initialization to move forward. Let's just go to two wire control. The main screen gives you an overview of the selections you'll need to know for complete configuration. If you do not have this ready, we suggest you review the application requirements prior to proceeding. Once you have this information ready, you can proceed to the speed reference selection. From here, you have different selections. You have the keypad, terminals, communications, the option PCB, and pulse input. So you'll need to make the proper selection based off of your configuration. We'll just go communication. You'll need to know how you want to start and stop your drive. Again, the keypad, this is a two-wire control or three-wire communication or the PCB. To be consistent, we'll go to our communication. You need to set the external fault. You may not have it one used, or you can have it normally open or normally closed. Select the load type. You have heavy duty and normal duty offerings. We'll go with heavy duty and regenerative options, none dynamic braking or external regen converter. Simple configuration, we'll go with none. Motor type selection, induction, or is it a permanent magnet motor? Typically in industry, we'll go with the induction motor. Control method, will this be volts per hertz or open loop vector? We'll leave it at open loop vector. And then your motor overload protection, you have disabled, variable torque, constant torque with a 10 to one speed range, constant torque with a 100 to one speed range, and a variable torque of 50 hertz. We'll just leave it at variable torque. And step seven is to stop, reverse, acceleration, and de deceleration times. How do you want the motor to stop? Ramp to stop, coast to stop. You want to do a DC injection, or do you want a timer? We'll just do a coast to stop. Do you want this application to be able to be reversed? You can disable it or enable it. We'll disable it. From here, you can configure the acceleration and deceleration times that your application needs. And you can see from zero to 6,000 seconds for both. Once you have the selections complete, you can transfer the parameters to an active project at which that point can be downloaded to the drive when you're ready to commission. Drive Wizard Industrial is a great tool to make configuration and commissioning of a VFD simple. The software is free from Yaskawa and Eco has a team available to support with any additional questions you may have. Let us know if this was helpful and stay tuned as we're developing more tools to make your job easier.